you have uh, implementation of the tools that science already deliver. And I'm saying that, of course, I'm speaking about the current treatment that we have and we know that this treatment, which is a lifelong treatment, is working very well uh, in terms of decreasing the mortality and the morbidities of people living with HIV. We know that this treatment is, uh, in, is inducing more or less similar life expectancy uh, as uh, the, the, the normal population. We know that this treatment is also, also prevention. However, we know also that uh, this uh, lifelong treatment uh, has some weaknesses, uh, not only the costs, because it's lifelong, but we know also when we talk with people living with HIV on treatment, doing very well, that they are expecting from us, the scientists, to develop novel strategy for the future. So. My view is not that we have to say the priority is uh, uh, science or the priority is implementation. We need to do both because science is a long way. Uh, you just tell me uh, that a cure is not for tomorrow. Of course a cure is not for tomorrow. But if we don't accelerate research and cure now, then it will take even more time. So it's the reason that everything should be done in parallel. We should continue all the effort for HIV testing, prevention, care and treatment and to retain the patient in treatment. On the, um, in parallel, we should continue and accelerate research and science on cure and also research and vaccine. So everything has to be done. To be free of HIV, that means a cure, okay? Uh, I am not going to give you any dates uh, because we, don't, we have to be careful of, about giving too much hope uh, to uh, people living with HIV. Uh, you remember uh, uh, during years, it was some announcement saying we will have a vaccine uh, within the next five years. Uh, and still today, uh, we don't have a vaccine. So, uh, scientists, you know, they don't have a, 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 a magic bullet. They just have to work. And it's uh, by working that we are making progress. It's by working also that we find some new barriers that we were not thinking before about. It's how we work as scientists. So how we can give a date? We don't know. We just be very honest. We have to be very honest. We don't know. But what we know for sure is that if we are starting now, if we work better together at international level, we know that we can make it faster. That's all we can say.